Hi, I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to make these colonial style silhouettes using the Cricut machine. Let's get started. My mom came across these cute little oval antique picture frames at an antique store, and she wanted to add some colonial style silhouettes to them, and so I told her I could make those with my Cricut machine. So to do this project, you're going to need some picture frames and some black cardstock paper and a Cricut machine. I'm going to use my Cricut Maker. I'm going to measure the opening here in the picture frame. It looks like it's right around two inches by a little over three inches. So in the design space, I will make an oval the same size and then I can easily size my silhouette to the correct size. I'm going to click on New Project and then I'm going to click on Upload and I have a couple of silhouettes that I have pictures of so I'm going to upload the image and I'm just going to drag it in here. This one is Martha Washington and before I drag it in here I cropped it down to as small as it could be and got rid of all the extra around the silhouette. And I'm going to choose simple here and continue. Then I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so I can see it all and then click on select and erase up here and that will get rid of most of the extra stuff and then I'll click on this eraser tool here to get rid of all of the extra and I don't really want the writing so I'm going to delete all of that And then I will click continue and I'm going to click it looks like there's a little bit of stuff right up here so I'm going to go back and click on the erase tool again that looks better then I will click on this I want it to be a cut image and then click on upload over here then I'm going to insert this into the file. As you can see, it's really large, so I'm going to shrink it down. And then I'm going to make a circle. And I want it to be two inches by three inches, so the same size as the opening on the picture frame. So I'm going to click on this little lock here, so that will allow me to make the dimensions of the circle not the same, so it can be an oval. Make it two inches by three inches, and then I'm going to click on white so that I can see the silhouette in it. And I want it to be behind Martha so I'm going to click on it over here and drag it down below Martha so then I can move her and shrink her to the size that I like then I'm going to copy and paste this oval so I can do the same thing with the George so I will go click on upload again and upload image and then I'm going to drag George in and again click simple and then I'm going to erase and I'm going to click on the eraser button and get rid of all this extra
and then click on continue. Okay, then I'm going to click on cut image and then upload. And then I'm going to click on this George right here and then insert images. And again, it's really large, so I'm going to go down here to this arrow and shrink it. Then I'm going to click on her. She is a little over 1 inch by 1.8 inch, so I'm going to make George about the same. I think he needs to be a little bit bigger to look proportional to her. That looks pretty good. I don't want to print the circles because I already have backings for my picture frames, so I'm going to click on the eye over here next to the two circles so that they won't be cut. I think it's always a good idea to save your project in case something happens. I'm going to call it George and Martha and save it. And now I'm going to just click on make it up here in the top corner. And I'm going to click continue here. And you can choose which type of cardstock or other materials you're using. I'm using cardstock, so I'm going to click on that. And then it's ready to go. You just push the flashing button on the Cricut and it will cut it. I've got the cardstock stuck onto my sticky mat here and I'm going to press the flashing arrow button. Then when it's ready the little cricket button will start flashing and I will press that. When it's all finished cutting, the arrow button will flash and you can press it and it will feed the grip mat out. So now I'm going to peel off the extra paper here. And I'm going to use my Cricut spatula to gently lift off the silhouettes. And I can place the silhouettes into the picture frames and I will use uh, a glue stick to glue them to the mat on the picture frame. You could do the same project with any silhouettes, a picture of silhouettes that you find that you like. Um, I've also I've done this one and this one. We'll see you next time. Bye.